Hi guys, welcome back to Red Dog Gaming, where today we are continuing our Skippy Eye campaign in Rome Total War Remastered. And as you can see, we are pretty thick. We are very nicely thick. In fact, uh, we do have Dumata not building, but apart from that, every single other region is building, which is kind of crazy. And we're still making a lot of money. Germania we're at war with. It looks very likely that we're going to be at war with the Bretons very soon. We've got a couple of battles to do. We've got one over here. Two over here, in fact. Um, I don't believe if we take Fraspa, that will be the end of the uh, um, Parthians. Because they have Campus Sarka. And it also looks like they've got Campus Alani as well. Um, so we'll auto-resolve this battle. Because it is just a general inside. There's no point us fighting it. He inflicted 60 casualties. And not really bothered. And probably mainly these boys. Um, so we might as well exterminate. Of course, you are not Roman territory. Oh my god, Fraspa is still a town. That is very disappointing. Parthia, what have you been doing? But then again, I do remember that these places took a long time to to build up. I, I don't even think Arsakia became a huge city when we were playing as the Parthians by the end of the game. So, yeah, they did generally take a very long time to... to uh, Build up. We'll send the spy up. Go and have a look at Campus Alani. But the second battle we've got to do is over here. Is a battle we're actually going to do. And uh, okay, they got three units, four units of horse archers. It's quite annoying, but we do have long range archers here who have longer range than the horse archers, so we should be good. But the infantry is, oh god, is absolutely dog shit. <laughs> Herennius the Butcher, he looks like he's seen some things, doesn't he? Our favourite character, Herennius the Butcher. What a beast. He really looks like he's seen some things. Um, but yeah, talking about this Let's Play, guys, we are episode 29 right now. So this is going to be the penultimate episode. We're going to do two more episodes. No matter where we finish, whether we destroy Parthia, whether we destroy Germania, we're going to finish on episode 30 because we've, you know, we've basically conquered the world. Um... We might do what we did, the same thing that we did with Parthia, and do a Let's Play just to finish the World Conquest off, just so it's finished off nice and roundly. Uh, but 30 is... I think 30 is a decent amount of episodes for a Let's Play. I think it's a great amount of episodes, honestly. Um, and it's a pretty... Yeah. Been a pretty good Let's Play. I've really enjoyed it. I think one of the best ones I've done so far. And I'm, I am striving to be better every single time we do a new Let's Play, guys. Trying to speak better, trying to talk about more interesting things, and trying to make the Let's Play more interesting in general. Let's listen. The Parthian King? It's a captain, you fool! You don't even know who you're fighting. I'm not listening anymore, Herennius. Uh, maybe I should, because Herennius won't have that many battles, will he? Left. He's dying. He's old. God, their infantry is just going to crumble. It's really, really uh, going to crumble. Herennius and his son together. Very nice. Nice to see. I know this isn't a real game. but <laughs> um, Not going to lie. Don't really care. Because we're not going to need them. Get in there. All I want to do is get close enough so that my archers... Yeah, they're going to be close enough. Can fire at their horse archers because they're the most annoying troops in here. But genuinely, the AI has no clue how to build armies in this game. <laughs> You'd think when they remastered it, they would have, you know, made the AI much more likely to recruit horse archers and cataphracts because those are the two units that will just chew through everything. As I've uh, mentioned before, horse archers are the most overpowered unit in the whole game. Like, genuinely the most overpowered unit in the whole game. Uh, in the campaign game, I would say. Um, so. You guys shoot them. You guys shoot those ones. Are you guys hiding? Every Yeah, everyone is hiding. Nice. Why are these slingers coming here? Oh, poor slingers. I'm going to get shredded. The horse archers are getting hit. Very nice indeed. Oh, hello. Oh, cataphracts. Well done, those cataphracts did a decent charge. 
absolutely shredded this unit. He was on 81 before, but that's the power of the cataphracts, as you can see. They were very, very diminished, and they still did that amount of damage, which is amazing. They're a great unit. Cataphracts and horse archers, and, and war elephants, I'd say, is good fun as well. So do recruit some war elephants if you are Parthia, just because of how fun they are. Ah. How are you still dying? Who are you fighting? Ah, you're getting shot, aren't you? Test judo, my boys. Hopefully they'll still keep fi firing at you. Are you still firing at the horse archer? No, they're firing at this one, which is decent. I'm a bit worried that they're going to uh, run away, so let's go. You guys get there, you guys there, you guys there, you guys there, you guys there. This unit's getting a bit surrounded, so let's go. Just don't want to have to chase all these horse archers around the whole map, because... As we've seen, they're incredibly annoying. I mean, I feel bad for all the armies we faced when we were Parthia, because we genuinely shred, like, thousands of troops without losing any, or losing, like, a couple to friendly fire. Get in there, my boys. When I say my boys, I mean the Palma family. No. How can you be more annoying? Oh my days, look at the route. So it's just you three. Get through them. Now uh, the archers, right, get the archers forward. I want them to charge someone. Oh, here we go. Sandwich time. Ah, uh, they're going to escape. Go, 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 go. Get into them. Yes. Caught them. Probably going to route them now. You guys actually go after these guys so we make sure we destroy them. Who are you? How can you not fought that? Form test judo. Uh, you guys get out of test judo and uh, get rid of these eastern infantry. These hillmen are coming back. What's the, what's the deal with that? They shouldn't want to come back. Kill these hillmen as well. The enemy general is running away. Fool! Oh god, I hate facing horse archers. I love using horse archers. Very fun. But I hate facing them. Get in there, my boys. Come on. How many have we killed anyway? Killed 85% already. Let's go. I want you to fire at these Bedouins. Get in there. All of you get into Judo. Everyone's in Test Judo. Oh, they're routing already. Wow. I think we've destroyed them. Yeah, very nice. Decent. They killed 149 still. 234 for that legionary cohort. Good lord. Well done. 178 for the Roman cavalry. This one do nothing. <laughs> no kills. Are you sure? Zero kills. What were you doing the whole battle? Did I forget to bring you along or something? <laughs> oh, I must have. People are probably screaming at the screen right now. 98 for that one. 89 for that one. Well done. Great army. Doing very nice. Herennius the Butcher. The absolute OG of this campaign. Well, not OG. He was, a, he was adopted by Big Gaius, so he's been around a while. But yeah, he is a G, anyway. Maybe not an OG, but a G, nonetheless. Who are you? Oh, look at that. Look at this. Fresh meat for the fire, boys. Fresh meat. Well, listen to Herennius' speech this time, because... Unfortunately for, for him, he's not going to be around too much longer. He's 55... I think, I believe it's above 50 that they start getting a chance to die every single turn. And it depends on their traits as well, of course. Uh, but let's listen. Oh, 
and draw strength from this fact. The enemy are so low that no ally can be found to support them. We are the last defense. The enemy must be held and then broken. If we let them past us, then the city is wide open. People will be slaughtered in their beds, raped, sold into slavery, and forced to bow down before brutal conquerors. We will never allow that. Um, bit of irony in the fact that Herennius the Butcher is a <laughs> champion of the people all, all of a sudden. Stick these guys in test judo. Nah, nah, we don't need to. We got enough armor anyway. We're going to do the same thing again. We need the archers to fire at the... Uh, uh, fire at the horse archers because they do have horse archers again. Different map though, very different map. Oh, hello. We'll stand at the bottom of the hill. Archers, you're not going to be able to fire as much as, po as usual. Cav, the great contingent. Cav is just OP in this game. I mean, Cav is OP in most Total War games. As it should be, really. But in this game especially, it's OP. When we were Parthia, we would literally just... If this was the army and we had some cataphracts, we'd just charge our cataphracts through them. Even though they're spearmen. I know that... Well, they are Eastern Infantry. That is the thing. Eastern Infantry are absolute dog shit. But <laughs> the cataphracts will just make mincemeat out of these boys. The one issue with the cataphracts is they are very slow. Almost as slow as camels, and camels, apparently in this game, can't run. <laughs> the camels are literally joke men. They cannot run to save their lives. Come on, the boys. Up the hill we go. Up to the army. Here they go. That's a nice cinematic there, isn't it? What a beautiful map, actually. Look at that hill. Ah, very nice. Looks a bit clearer over here. Now they're starting to fire at us. If you can fire at them, I would like that. You guys there as well. Nice. Get a few of them down. I mean, hopefully all of them. What are they doing? You think they're hard, but they're not. They think they're hard, but they're not. They're sending their whole army to deal with my cavalry. I mean, I mean how dumb is that? How dumb? Oh, no, let's go. General, Herennius, don't die to Eastern Infantry, please. That would really be embarrassing. We're doing Parthian, Parthian horse archer tactics right now. Where are they going? Stop running away from us, you fools. You guys deal with them. Go, 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 go. You're probably going to charge through a couple of Eastern Infantries. But it doesn't really matter. I just want to catch the horse archers. Good thing with rebel armies, you don't need to kill 85%, you just need to kill them. Let's go after the horse archers, please. Oh god, look at them just go and rout. Run away, run away fools. Everyone's running, I don't think anyone's not running. Who's not running? Who's not running? Oh, these boys, frick me. Why would you come back? Alright, go. Speed it up. Yeah, there we are. Perfect. They still killed 101. That's a bit disappointing. It's just a small accumulation for every unit, really. 111 for that Legionary Cohort. Well done. 97. Legionary Cohort doing really well for once, actually. Well done, boys. They were only fighting... <laughs> they were only fighting fucking uh, Eastern Infantry, though. Pricks. Eastern Infantry are shit. If you're Parthia and you just do not recruit Eastern Infantry, the only reason you would recruit them is to man siege equipment. Six casualties they inflicted. 
Uh, I mean, I feel like we're in Parthian territory right now. So let's get up to here. Herennius, you are going to finish your days on a big trek <laughs> through the countryside. Um, were we able to? No. It's only a town. Good lord. Minor city here, though. Um, just make sure we recruit that so we can move on out with Titus Memmius and our Aulus Memmius. We've got a father-son combo over here. Very nice. Nice to see. Right, you're... So we have this battle. Campus Getai. It's pretty strong, isn't it? Oh, it's a load of trash, though. Hmm. I, I could have sworn we fought this battle. Have we not fought this battle? Well, we fought a battle similar. We definitely don't have fought those battles in the east. Um... A lot of it is absolute pure trash. They do have two phalanx pikemen, though. So let's get into it. Come on, the boys. Let us go. Ah, very nice. Drinking a fruity... fruit. It's called Fruitropolis Pale Ale. Tropical Pale Ale. It's um, decent. I don't normally go for fruity ales, but normally I'll go for, well, when I say fruity, I'll go for a citrusy pale ale, but not something like, you know, really out there, tro like tropical flavours. Um, but this one's actually decent. It's quite sessionable, actually. Made by uh, Rascal Brewing, I think. Rascal's Brewing Company. Hmm. Very nice. Very good indeed. Well, we're going to destroy Thrace here as well, which is nice. That's it. The Thracians are fools and think they sent victory. I think they have the stench of death about them. They stand alone. No friend has come to this place to die for them. Does this not say something about their honor? They're standing among nations? We are here to do one job. Prevent them from taking the town at all costs. We outnumber them by a small margin. From such small beginnings are great victories crafted. I have never yet lost a fight against these men. I have no intention of starting today. So together, we will gain another victory. When I set my heart on an attack, I do so knowing that I will win, that my men will win, that victory is within reach. All we need to do is stretch out and grasp the foe firmly by the throat. Grasp the foe th firmly by the throat, my boys. My all you boys on the ladders. I think that's about right, honestly. They're all quite, quite nicely. I mean, they're probably going to put people on the walls, aren't they? So... You guys go there. You well, we'll just ma we'll just try and take all these walls. You guys get out of the way. You guys there. You guys there. And you guys. Did they have many archers? I can't quite remember. Ah, I remember where this uh, similar battle was. It was in Germania. Then you boys here. Then all of you. I think once we get in, once those phalanx units are dead. Try to push them off the walls with the archers. Uh, all those phalanx units are dead. We just charge in with our, uh, our, our, our cavalry. Cav, 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 spam all the way to the end. What are you doing? Who are you? Peasants? Okay. They've pretty much got a lot of their troops on the walls, actually. Who are they firing at? Archers? Ah, Peltas getting killed. Very nice. 
They do have two very healthy units of Phalanx Pikemen. That's one issue we need to deal with. But let's speed up. Getting shot now. Shoot those Peltas if you can. Who are they? Peasants, they're going to die. Who are they? Mercenary Peltasts. Uh, oh, militia hoplites. That is a tasty morsel on the walls for our legionary cohorts. A tasty little morsel for the boys. Coming up the ladders is a real big detriment to you because you get hit. The animation means that you will get hit from all angles when your guys get up. You need really strong units to assault walls. Uh, those archers do not need to be firing at them. That's uh, not a good idea, really, is it? Tell you what. Get here if you can. Try and fire over the walls at the phalanxes. Luckily, they've pushed these peasants to the end. Oh. Get after those mercenary peltasts if we can. Come on, boys. Our soldiers have done well this day. The walls are taken. Come on. Kill the last of them. Now here. Those archers are quite annoying. Kill those Peltasts. How are you doing? Beat the peasants. Are they firing? You should be firing on that Greek cavalry, please. Mm. If anything, get closer so we can fire on those phalaxes. You done? Come on, then. Through that. Yeah, fire on the uh, phalanx. You done yet? Get in there. Kill the archers. Is that ours? Yes. Well, you guys get around. Once you've killed them, you should run through this way. Unless, no, you guys run to here. And you guys can go the other way. And we'll be good. Nice, the archers are firing. High in the sky. There they go. Did I make sure all of you were on fire at will? I did. Brilliant. Should be firing at their cavalry now. Uh, what do we want to do here then? I mean, they've got a lot of generals. That's the one thing. Uh, you guys get around to there. You guys that aren't on the walls. Can we get you in? Also get you guys in here if we can. And then Cav. I would like you guys to come down this way. You guys keep going. Is that just militia cavalry in the centre? They do have two... They've probably got their general, so we've got to be wary of that. Yeah, two generals armed bodyguards and pretty decent 70 of them. It's a decent number of them. Very decent number, in fact. All right, you two. We need you to put some pressure on that phalanx pike. Um, once you've gone there, you can come down the wall and start flanking. You guys get there. Yes, come on the boys. Let's go. We don't actually have that much infantry left. Just a bit, bit rubbish. I want to send you guys down this way. Greek cab. I want to send a few units around this way. It looks like they're kind of falling for a bit of a trap here. Oh, here comes the general's bodyguard. We've got to be wary of that. You guys get there. See whether you can fire. Uh, Cav, let's go. Don't know who we're mixed up with here. We shouldn't be getting killed here. Why are we dying? This is our towers. How are we dying here? You get into those militia cav. Oh, this is tough. 
Fire at that armored bodyguard, please. Uh, guys, stop running forward. Like, just actually fire. Yeah, fair enough. Right, you, you I need you to come this way. I don't know why you would set up like that. Ah, the bodyguard. It's going to be tough. Two bodyguards. Get in. How were you guys dying? I really don't understand how you were dying. Shoot that general's armor bodyguard, please. Oh, they, they might do a mass route here. Oh, we are taking some losses. Some serious losses. It's Phalanx Pikeman over here. Problem is we can't really get this way too quickly. Come on. Come on, horses. Let's go. Let's go. Get over here. Come on. Come on. You fools. Yeah, they're mass routing everyone. We should still win. It's not like this army really is that important anymore. You guys stay here. What is going on here? Are you fucking kidding me? Like, stop being idiots and run through. Hoping these guys are... Uh, taking those Phalanx Pikemen on frontally is going to be a nightmare. Let's go. Go, go, go. Know which way you want to go. Are you joking? Move. Please? <laughs> Yeah, they're firing into them. Nice. Let's just keep goading them along. We don't need to actually engage a phalanx unit frontally. Not bothered about losing the archers. These guys are pretty down bad now. Who are you? Mercenary hoplites. You're not a problem. Ah, killed by an archer. Foolish. Foolish. Oh, they're both routing now. Kill the rest of them. You guys don't need to come. Then the archers, my boys. Let's get you up here. Shoot into the back of this phalanx unit. Now that's the second general dead. Uh, come on then, Cav. Let's go. Oh, we did engage them. It's going to be a bit shit because we're going to lose that. <laughs> Unless we send you in. Come on. Come on. Find them. They're wavering. I want these guys to engage and then we'll charge them in the back. And you guys can charge them in the side. Alright, speed it up. Speedy, speedy. Let's go. Still getting shot by the towers. Ah, they're dead now. Brilliant. Run through them, kill them all. There we are. Time to go. Come on, the cab. They should be wavering. Yeah, they're shaking. They're doing a pretty good job of surrounding them, really, I would say. Oh, there we are. Nice. Kill 445. Decent. By them, I mean. Not great by us. One sec. Oh, God. Just had to sneeze, guys. Sorry about that. Um, well, yeah. 100 by these legionary cohorts. Everyone else. Pretty trash. We didn't do great. Uh, but what can you do? Siege battles, you always going to lose a few more troops. Especially when they've got a decent amount of infantry on the walls. But that is Thrace dead, I'm assuming, anyway. I hope so. Yeah. Thrace is destroyed. Nice. 
Nothing to repair. Yeah, we did the siege ourselves, so. Dionysus. Dionysus. Saturnus. Yes. Oh, we can basically retrain everyone. Oh, look at these guys. I mean, I think that might be more important than the cav. I'm not going to lie. And a peasant, of course. And the Scythians, here they are. Oh, that looks like a pretty mean army. I'm not going to lie. I don't like this fact the Scythians are here. And their only real attack points are us. We're... I mean, they got a border with Germania. That's definitely one other one. And they do have a border with Parthia. But it looks like Parthia have taken Campus Alani. So it's a big border. A long way for them to go. Yeah, faction destroyed. Nice. I think that's everything we could have done. Maybe not condone, con, uh, condate Radonum. What have they got in here, though? That's the thing. Oh, my God. Chosen Axemen, they are very good. They're a decent unit. Can my early leader and cohorts stand up to Chosen Axemen? Probably. Spear Warband are incredibly annoying with that Phalanx formation. I mean, I think we're... I think we're good. I mean, we are very good. Like, we'll win it easily. It's just how many losses will we take and is it worth it? But it's worth it. Let's do it. Let's do it. Four-star general as well. Don't know, let me guess. Vibius Memelius. I don't know. I'm just making up names right now. We've got too many family members to remember them all, apart from the special ones like Herenius and Aulus. Is Aulus still alive? Maybe this is Aulus. I don't know. We'll see. Find out today on another episode of Curb Stomping Simulator. Fantastic. Yeah, the Germanians, they made a mistake breaking that alliance off. I was willing to just let them live, but oh well. Today we go into battle against the German horde. They are indeed mighty men and brave foes. And draw strength from this fact. The enemy are so low that no ally can be found to support them. We are here to rescue the good folk of this settlement. The balance of numbers favors us, I see. This is good. I do not believe in giving the enemy an easy time. I have never lost a battle against these people. Why should I start losing now with men such as you at my command? Another victory is at hand. I do not fight with a cool head today. I confess it. My eyes see only a red mist. I do not want them to run from the battle. I want their heads on our pikes by evening. Now, set your minds on the task to come. Strike hard. Strike without mercy. I mean, yeah, it would be without mercy if you're going to put all their heads on pikes by the end of the evening. Um... I mean, we'll just ram two holes, really. Uh, you guys, the second one. Uh, you guys don't want you on the rams, because I want you firing into the enemy ranks. And we'll use our mercenaries as our meat shields. Um, legionary cohorts ready to go. All on fire at will. Oh, you all got a ram as well. For what reason, my friend? Thing is, the chosen the chosen axemen will die so easily to the cav. They have no cav defense whatsoever. I want to save these guys for the phalanxes because the phalanxes really can do some damage. They're a very tough starting unit, the spear warband. Let's have a look. Early legionary cohorts. 10, 12, 20. Spear warband. It says four morale, which is not great, but if you can, uh, yeah, you say like 10, 12, 13. They've got 13 melee attack and 15. I guess that's partly because of their experience. Um, so minus four. So they would have nine and 11. Nine, 11 is not bad for a starting unit, especially one with so little armor. Three armor. A lot of that comes from this defense skill and shield. All these guys, all the way from the Balearic Isles, up into uh, Northern Gaul. 
Go on, get your slinging going. Problem with the slingers is uh, you can't really fire without a good angle. Is that a good angle for you? Yes, it is. Right. Barbarian mercenaries. Go and fight your brethren. You guys get in. Oh my god, look at this blob. That would be an amazing blob to exploit. Let's get in. Slingers there. Get you off that one. Actually, don't put you on fire at will yet. War cry first. Before I get too excited, do your war cry. Come on, boys. Come on, the boys. The barbarian boys. Fighting each other. Ooh. That's a nice little flag, isn't it? I like that. Bloody hell. About time. Uh, how do you still have the ram? Come on. Uh, you guys get here. Are you still on your war cry? No. War cry, my boys. Oh, can't. We're still on it. Into the axeman. The axeman should shred you by all rights. And then get in. Everyone's impetuous. Oh, they, they ran straight away. <laughs> Good lord. At least we've got the slingers in there now. The axemen are a decent unit, I've got to admit. Warcry, cry, then you can get in. How are they breaking so easily? Good lord. You're going to screw up my legionary cohorts. You're going to make them scared. Don't make them scared. Please. <laughs> I don't want them to be scared. Decimus Gracchus. I don't even think we've used you before. You're a new boy, aren't you? You are the new boy. The new kid in town, eh? You should not worry about these axemen. You should be eager. Yes, you are. Oh, my God. Barbarian morale is literally all over the place. <laughs> it is shocking. That is their big detriment. Get into that spear war band, then. Nice. Get the slingers back here as well. You can. You two get there. Come on, Cab. Let's go. You guys have all run away. Meat shield time, boys. Speed this battle up. We don't need it to go on so long, do we? We're only still on the same turn. <laughs> That's the thing. By the end of this, oh. Okay. Fire once again. Oh, they, they cannot deal with those Javis. They have no armor, do they? One armor, yeah. Do, and no shield, so they cannot deal with missiles. Get into them, then. I hate the Spear Warband. So annoying. Have a Spear Warband coming this way. No, they got Axemen. That's one of their chosen Axemen units dead, though, by now. Well, pretty much. Yep. Uh, you guys get after them. Uh, you two. Get that. You guys get here. Oh, God. That's awful. And Spanish mercenaries. Let's go. Forward. Oh, they, we shredded them. Through the axemen. Let's go. And then what are you? Chosen Axeman. They won't be able to stand up to Cav, really. Yeah, straight in the side of them. Nice. Stopping that phalanx formation. Excellent. Where are those Where are those Spanish mercenaries? I want you to go and fire at them. I want you two to come and uh, fire at these Axemen. And I want two of you boys to kind of get here and fire into them. And then you boys can go here. You boys can go there. Uh, into those chosen axemen, then. Come on, Spaniards. Fire, Spaniards, fire. Oh, God, they just shredded that legionary cohort. 
Get back! Get back! Ah, oh, you idiots! Get here! Get here! Everyone's gonna route unless you start moving. Oh god, the morale! The morale penalties! All at once. It's not what we need, is it? What are you doing? That is not a good formation. Just look at the spear warband go. They're absolutely shredding. You should be able to stand up to skirmish warband. If you route because of skirmish warband, I'll be incredibly annoyed. Come on, Cav. Let's go. Come on, Cav. You should be able to push through these guys. No problem. They do have a decent attack. Right, you boys actually get there. And you should be able to fire into them. You boys there as well. By the Eric Slingers. If we can push through them, we can charge these guys in the rear. Which is what we want to do. Got a spear wall man coming through, but they sh they shouldn't be able to push through. Okay, that's decent. You guys get up there. You guys get up there. You go fill the line. Right now through Cav, let's go. What's this on the town square? Ah, spear. Oh, here they go. Get into them. Kill them all. We need to get behind these guys ASAP. Kill the Axeman. Need to surround these boys. Can you fire your jabbies, please? I'm going to get stuck. My cab's going to get stuck here unless you engage them, for God's sake. Engage them, you idiots. Got a bit of friendly fire going on there. Engage them. Are you fucking kidding me? Oh my God, look at them. The absolute imbeciles. Come on. Are you fucking stupid? Good Lord. I've never seen such dumb fucks in my life. Fucking early legionary cohorts, man. So useless. Right, there we are. That should break them. <laughs> that should be all dead. Nice. You guys have ammo. You boys have a little bit. We'll get, uh, if we can get you across here, that'd be nice. Spanish mercenary belly Eric slingers. Let's get up here. Alright, Cav. Just get over there. Belly Eric's just get there. Spanish mercenaries get in front. Nice. Very nice. Oh, we've lost a few troops here. We've lost a lot. 40%. Yeah, fire at the uh, spear wall band, please. We'll fire at Will. Oh, look at that! That was brutal. That's how you want to deal with phalanxes, Jesus. That was nice. <laughs> Go on, the Spanish. You get the honour of finishing off this battle. Butcher them, yep. Yeah. Imagine, oh god, I was going to say, imagine if they routed. Oh, and they did. Fools. Oh, they're dead anyway. <laughs> god lord, 567. 106, you guys. Spanish mercenaries were trash. Look at that. Barbarian mercen mercenaries were also trash. Sling is actually doing decent. Everyone else was pretty trash, though. Not good. But oh well. We still took it. We still took it, and we should be able to retrain and get some more early legendary cohorts here, even though they are absolute dog shit, as we've seen. Condate Radonum. Exterminate. Low tax rate, please. 
get rid of... Oh, it's Freya again. They love Freya. They love their um, population growth. Even though it's not really the best thing for them. Uh, we'll go for early legionary cohort as well. Nice. Resistance is futile once again. Um, and I think that's it. And we've just done battles of one turn <laughs> in this whole episode. <laughs> so, uh, next episode, hopefully we'll get through more than one turn. But, you know, we've cleaned up Thrace. We're cleaning up Germania. We're definitely, before the Let's Play finishes, we won't be able to finish off Parthia and Germania, I don't think. Uh, but we can try. We can try. So thank you very much for watching, guys. It's been a pleasure as always. Please do like, subscribe, all that good stuff. It really helps the channel out. And I'll see you again on the next video.